So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. Below Antarctica's ice, away from the lively penguins and attractions for tourists, lies a cold, seemingly lifeless world. But as scientists have traveled further into the land, they have once again found something that has blown everybody away. Researchers have now identified a shrimp-like creature and a jellyfish happily living beneath a massive Antarctic ice sheet. The presence of these creatures in an environment thought to be devoid of life has no doubt puzzled scientists. When the camera hits it, mm -hmm. so the camera writes itself and then it reveals life. Join us as we explore the terrifying secret scientists found after dropping a camera in the deepest hole in Antarctica. An unusual visitor. Several hundred feet below the ice where sunlight rarely reaches, scientists initially assumed that only minuscule microbes could exist. But then, a NASA team found themselves taken aback when they opted to peer beneath the Antarctic ice sheet using a video camera. Much to their delight, a shrimp-like creature entered the frame calmly positioning itself on the camera's cable. Adding to the surprise, scientists also hauled up a tentacle suspected to belong to a foot-long jellyfish. A hidden world was discovered under the outer edges of the Ross Ice Shelf, the biggest floating ice chunk globally in Antarctica. This happened during a research project that aimed to understand how climate change is affecting the melting ice shelf and its ecosystems. The scientists saw a groove in the ice shelf in satellite images close to where it meets the land and thought it might be a secret underwater area. Experts have been predicting the existence of rivers and lakes under the Antarctic ice for a while, but nobody has checked them out yet. When the team realized it was a subterranean river, they went to Antarctica and drilled down 1,640 feet below the ice using a special hot water drill system from the Victoria University of Wellington. Once they reached the hidden cavern, they sent a camera down. At first, everything looked blurry. No one could make out what they were seeing. But when they adjusted the camera focus, they found out it was actually living crustaceans. This exciting discovery not only adds new info about what's under the ice shelves, but also shows how climate change affects Antarctica. The researchers are planning more exploration to learn more about the cool ecosystems in the secret subglacial world helping us understand how ice, water, and life work together in this extreme place. Not only that, but this unexpected turn of events defied the scientists' initial expectations. The newly discovered creature may be significant. Instead of encountering only microbes, which was what the scientists expected to see, they were introduced to a three-inch-long orange critter, scientifically classified as a lysianacid amphipod. This is essentially a distant relative to shrimp, NASA scientist Robert Binshedler expressed how shocked he was by this finding in an interview. According to him and his team, they went into the area thinking nothing would be there but what they found was a shrimp that almost looked like the ones people usually eat. The implications of this newfound discovery extend beyond just the icy land of Antarctica, though. This finding prompts scientists to reconsider their understanding of life's potential in challenging environments. If shrimp-like creatures can thrive under 600 feet of Antarctic ice, could similar surprises await in other harsh locations, such as Jupiter's frozen moon Europa? As experts explore exactly what more could be in store for them after this revelation, the on-scene videos of the species proved to be way more important than they thought they would be. Now, those videos stand as evidence that clearly shows the reshaping of scientists' understanding of life's adaptability in seemingly inhospitable conditions. This breakthrough not only sparks fresh curiosity, but also calls the scientific community to embark on a journey of exploration. The research just doesn't stop at finding the species, but it continues into exploring their living conditions and finding out where they came from. Unraveling more mysteries. In addition to finding the amphipods, the research team noticed something interesting about the water under the Antarctic ice shelf. They saw that the water split into four to five separate layers, each flowing in different directions. This happens because water often forms distinct layers that don't mix easily, mainly because of differences in temperature and saltiness. Since the Antarctic ice shelves float, water is always moving underneath them, going in and out of the open ocean. Some of these water layers are warm and can make the ice shelves melt. 
While experts were checking out the underwater river, they were also aware that a big event in recent years must have influenced the waters. The event that they were referring to was the one where the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai volcano in the South Pacific erupted between late December 2021 and mid-January 2022, causing a tsunami. The scientists noticed changes in pressure in underground space because of this distant volcanic eruption. For the researchers on site, it was beyond amazing to see the impact of the Tongan volcano, which erupted thousands of kilometers away. This event also quite clearly served as a reminder of how everything on our planet is connected. The fact that something happening so far away could affect conditions under the Antarctic ice shelf shows just how everything on Earth is linked. On top of this, microbiologist Sinan Ellis Evans from the British Antarctic Survey found the discovery of the species particularly fascinating. He is considering it a significant step for the subglacial environment due to its advanced nature. He noted that while there have been somewhat similar findings of complex life in retreating ice shelves, this is the first time such a discovery has been made directly beneath the ice. Ellis Evans suggested the creatures might have come from far away and don't live there permanently. However, biologist Stacy Kim, a co-author of the study, disagreed. She pointed out that the West Antarctica site is about 12 miles from open seas, making it unlikely for these critters to have swum from far away and randomly end up in that small area discovered during the exploration. Despite this, scientists are puzzled about what these creatures eat. While some tiny creatures can make their own food from chemicals in the ocean, more complex ones like the amphipod can't do that. The big question now is how these creatures manage to survive in a place where it's not clear what they eat. According to Kim, it's pretty amazing when you find a huge puzzle like that on a planet where we thought we knew everything. This mystery not only challenges what scientists thought they knew, but also opens up new areas to explore, showing that there's much we still don't understand about life in unique environments. That's not to say that the area experts were exploring in the Antarctic has not been home to more discoveries in the past. Thriving life in polar waters. Discovering amphipods and other marine life in Antarctic waters is actually quite common. The ocean circulation system brings warm, nutrient-rich water to the Antarctic continent, sustaining life even during the cold, dark winter. When the Larsen B ice shelf collapsed in 2002, scientists found clams and bacterial mats, massive groups of bacteria, half a mile beneath the ocean surface. Even though Antarctic waters are extremely chilly, around minus 1.8 to 1 degree Celsius on average, they're bustling with life. Biologist Peter Wiebe from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution explained that where there's water exchange with the open ocean, you'll find microbes and food for bigger animals like jellyfish and amphipods. Surprisingly, a group of glaciologists didn't expect to find familiar marine life beneath the ice and so far from the open ocean. The team of scientists, including members from the University of Alaska, Fairbanks, the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California, and Moss Landing Marine Laboratories in Monterey, is currently studying temperature, saltiness, and current data from the subglacial watering hole. They want to find out if the cozy conditions for the shrimp-like creature are normal. NASA-funded scientists have been exploring life in tough, unconventional environments for a long time, looking at things like astrobiology and extremophiles. The recent discovery of the Antarctic amphipod has got scientists talking again. If complex life like this shrimp-like creature can survive deep underwater in Antarctica, could it possibly live in other strange and unfriendly places in space? Dr. Behar, known for his work on exploring Mars with robots, was also an influential figure involved in this research. What he finds interesting about exploration programs like these is how unpredictable they can be. The aim for researchers is to search for one thing, but they almost always end up with many other surprising things. According to Dr. Behar, the effort put into these types of research seems worth it in the end, especially when you discover something you never would have expected. The excitement of finding unexpected things, like the Antarctic amphipod, adds value to the hard work of planning and executing exploration missions. It also opens up new ideas about where life might be able to survive. What this discovery could mean Antarctica is home to giant ice shelves, and the Filchner Rhone, one of the biggest, covers over 160,000 square miles. Despite their huge size, when we peek through boreholes, we only get to see a small part of the seafloor below, like a tennis court. Dr. Griffiths points out that, even though it's a big area, 
there's still a lot we don't know. Scientists sent a sediment corer through the borehole and then through about 1,600 feet of seawater beneath the floating ice shelf, uncovering a hidden world below. While we've seen little moving creatures like shrimp and sea fleas under ice shelves before, finding animals that stay in one place is a surprise. Dr. Griffiths explains that we usually expect creatures that can move around to find food, but finding animals stuck to a rock, patiently waiting for food to come by, changes what we thought. In the video captured on site, the blob-like things are a kind of sponge that is similar to the ones found near Antarctica. Dr. Griffiths thinks there might be other anchored creatures on the boulder, like tube worms, stalked barnacles, or hydroids, things related to jellyfish. This amazing discovery makes us think more about what's going on with life under the ice shelves, revealing a diverse world that's different from what we expected. Living under the ice shelf poses a big challenge for these organisms. Since there's no sunlight, they have to rely on bits of floating remnants from other animals or plants for their food. Plants can't make food through photosynthesis in the dark seawater, so snacking on debris becomes super important for these creatures to survive. Even though the boulder exists about 150 miles from the ocean, underwater currents suggest the closest plant life might be as far as 1,000 miles away, according to Griffiths. The big question now is how these animals actually find their food. Many questions left unanswered. Scientists need to plan another trip with special tools, like a remotely operated underwater vehicle, to gather samples and uncover these mysteries. John Prisku, a polar ecology professor at Montana State University who's been studying life under polar ice for almost 40 years, points out that all the necessary ingredients for life exist under ice shelves. However, the important question of how these animals manage to get their food remains a bit of a puzzle. The creatures on the boulder likely started as tiny larvae, and then grew into their adult forms. This whole process shows that life is fundamentally everywhere and the environment plays a big role in deciding which species do well. Looking ahead, the next step is working out if these animals are similar to those in the open ocean or if they've changed to live under the ice shelf. Prisku suggests that if these creatures adapted to life under ice shelves, they could help us understand past climate changes in Antarctic ice, sort of like a molecular clock. This amazing discovery shakes up what we thought we knew about where life can exist and continue to transform. Until next time.